October is National Domestic Violence Awareness Month, and a number of events focusing on this issue will take place across the country. Yet here in the county, an interfaith symposium for clergy and faith leaders will take place this month with panel discussions on the faith-based community's role in safety, security, and awareness. And it's a topic very important to Prince George's State's attorney, Aisha Braveboy, who joins us to talk about her forum tonight and some other upcoming community events. Thanks for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. So now tell me about tonight's event and campaign focusing on domestic violence. Absolutely. Well, tonight is a night for victims to speak out. Um, so many uh, forums focus on, and rightfully so, providers, uh, those like myself who are in uh, the uh, public safety arena. Um, but oftentimes what's, um, what, what, what will drive the message home the most is if someone is able to hear it from someone who has gone and walked in their, their shoes, uh, travel in their same path. And so tonight we're giving our victims, or really our survivors, a voice to talk about their, their experiences and to help other people um, uplift themselves out of violent situations. So now are you talking, you know, an age range, diversity? Give me an idea yeah, of the type uh, of people who will yeah, come out so, tonight. So uh, our victims of do domestic violence don't fall into any category. Right. So all victims are welcome, and we will have a diverse uh, stage of victims uh, who will provide us uh, with their experiences. So we're really excited about that. So now I understand your office is also pushing for some very specific legislation that has to do with domestic violence, but again, specifically the issue of strangulation, and why is that? Well, strangulation is the most lethal form of domestic violence. So if someone attempts to strangle, to strangle you or does strangle you, uh, they are more likely to escalate and try to kill you. That's what uh, we know statistics, national statistics show that. And so what we want to do is ensure that strangulation is treated as a very serious crime. Right now it's considered a misdemeanor, second degree assault offense. Uh, we are pushing for legislation uh, to make uh, strangulation a first degree felony offense uh, where the maximum penalty would be up to 25 years. Is that an issue that is generally focused on women uh, women uh, primarily are the victims of strangulation, but again, domestic violence knows no gender boundaries um, or uh, sexual orientation boundaries, so men can be victims too. Right. Well, switching gears now, you also have another event geared at the Latino community coming up here. Yes, the La Latinx community. Um, we are hosting a town hall uh, to provide them with some updates uh, around our office, um, as well as connecting them with the services that our office provides. We also want to message to them and really the rest of uh, our immigrant community that um, we care about them, that our office is accessible to them, uh, and that we are not checking for their immigration papers. You know, we don't ask uh, for their immigration status. Uh, what we really want to know from those who are victims is uh, what happened in their case, and we try to figure out how we can get justice for them. Um, but in order for people to come forward, they have to feel comfortable, and that's why we are going out to the community. Uh, our event will be held at the CASAs, at CASA's headquarters, so we're going out to the community where a large uh, population, or a large um, uh, Hispanic population lives in the Langley Park Heightsville area, so we're going to have the event in an area that's convenient for them and we'll have um, all of our unit chiefs um, as well as some of our other uh, partners in law enforcement uh, available to, to provide their commentary. Okay, I, I wish we had more time because I know you're making many strides outreaching to the multicultural community in the area Absolutely. as well. Absolutely, and we just um, developed a new multicultural committee that is going to be working to uh, you know, bring various uh, members of our community from the African continent, Asian, uh, Native American, and, uh, and the Caribbean, which I'm Caribbean, so I'm happy to have my Caribbean brothers and sisters as part of the outreach that's going on in my office. All right, Aisha Brave Boy, thank you so much thank for you. joining thank us. You. Thank you. And again, tonight's campaign against domestic violence will take place at Prince George's Community College at the Rennie Forum from 6 until 9 p.m.